and Big Mac Lunchbox first time in action here on Dream Masters in the F4L Hikons Hall of <laughs> Matches. So this should be, uh, I'll be honest with you folks, I don't really know what to expect uh, since I've not seen either one in action as of yet. We've heard the speculations. I guess we're, <laughs> we'll find out, I suppose. And again, I'm going to be hosting, doing the introduction. So first, coming from Chicago, Illinois, <laughs> making his way to the ring. Apparently all the way from lost, he's not lost anymore anyway. All the way from out of space and now from via Chicago, Illinois, it is Max Jenkins, ladies and gentlemen. And this is uh, Dream Master's regular standard matchup folks so pinfall submissions in the ring there are no disqualifications or no count outs but there will be a decision in the ring pinfall or submission one of the two no lightweights and no anything else as Max Jenkins showing off of athletic, the athleticism I'm un I understand he has some circus background as well not only being a hit actor and being in one of the most action-packed shows on Netflix. He's also has spent some time in a circus, so I'm wondering if the, if there's any acrobatics involved and if that will help him here. And of course, <laughs> opposite of him is of course the newest newcomer. There he comes. Oh boy, and here he is, ladies and gentlemen. All the way from McDonaldville. Oh boy. Okay. All right. From the lunch from the lunch room. Actually, I have to give what his his uh, promoters gave me to read off. <laughs> Make his way to the ring from the lunch room. I kid you not. That's what it says. Weighing in tonight at 328 pounds. It is Big Mac. The lunchbox. Sorry, Big Mac, Big Mac lunchbox. Again, folks, I don't quite know what to expect. Oh boy. Uh huh. So, Big Mac. Oh man. Apparently, has trained alongside of Ribby. I know you guys are all familiar with Ribby, who's played this game or knows this game. 2020 Ribby, the original character the WWE gave us. Well, this is <laughs> Big Mac, apparently. Gotta wonder if someday down the line, oh, Max Jenkins with a quick wardrobe change. Probably a little easier wrestling in that than it would be the spacesuit. Is Max Jenkins and Big Mac the lunchbox lock it up for the first time? Again, uh, I wish I could tell you what to expect. We don't really know since we have not seen either one. Oh, well. I can tell you, Big Mac just kicked Max Jenkins in the face. And I can also tell you, judging by the sizes and weights, I'm going to say the Big Mac has the height and weight advantage. If Mac Jenkins, if Max Jenkins can channel his... Oh, my. <laughs> if Max Jenkins can somehow channel his inner... Um, you know things like we've seen so many of the talented young men and women who are bigger than smaller than the others channel that speed maybe that'll help out again I don't really know as Big Mac starting off could be very very vicious here in the early goings Ugh. <laughs> uh oh oh Moonsault and knees into the ribs of Max Jenkins. He's not doing very effective here against Big Mac. But we've seen ooh, Texas pile driver right there. As Jenkins rolls to the outside. Again, the match must end in the ring, but they can go out there as long as they want, considering there's no count outs. Nor are there any disqualifications. Ooh. As Big Mac taking liberties with young Jenkins here. Oof, there's a sidekick that just spun him right around his head and now picking him up by the face and claw slamming him. 
And Big Mac, not looking fun in the early goings. Oh, an eye poke. <laughs> and that might have just woke up Max Jenkins. I don't think he appreciated the, Mac, the eye poke. <laughs> After all that, it was the eye poke of doom that would set off Jenkins. <laughs> and now, introducing Big Mac's face into the, into the post. What is this now? Oh my goodness! Max Jenkins. And the fans are appreciating it, apparently. As you can hear, the fans are appreciating whatever Jenkins had there. But maybe he should have followed up. Maybe he was trying to figure out what to do next. Elbows to the ribs as Jenkins signing, showing some signs of life that he's not going down without a fight. Because he is outsized and outweighing by the lunch by lunchbox who now places Jenkins oh Jenkins rolls up out of the way I don't know what Big Mac had Ooh, smart move by Jenkins maybe playing a little possum there wait until Big Mac came in and hit him with a nice flying neck breaker and now with Big Mac up beautiful Go to sleep into the suplex. Shades of fellow Chicago native CM Punk right there. As Big Mac stunned right there. Speaking of the stunner, Jenkins with a stunner of his own. And now, I don't know what we're going to see here. Lining up Big Mac for something. Ooh, there's a standing sidekick into the, co into the cover. Smart move. Remember, folks, as always, we have no control over the outcomes. And Max Jenkins with a very successful debut against a very interesting um, new <laughs> member of the roster, Big Mac. We looked some of this action earlier. It, actually, all honesty, it was that poke to the eye that really set Jenkins off. I wasn't so certain Jenkins could get back into this, but after that eye poke, he really showed signs of life, and this right here was a helpful maneuver right here as well. And in the end, after that standing sidekick, and here's your winner in his debut, Max Jenkins. You gotta wonder what future will hold for either one of these individuals. And what is Brock Brown thinking now that there's someone even more stranger than him? <laughs> As Jenkins celebrates with the fans, rightfully so. Well-deserved, great debut.